Hey guys, it's Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homesteader Exotic Gardening, SherryAnnRichardson.com and BiannualBlogathonBadge.com. And I thought today we would talk about um, a 10 essential survival checklist because yesterday was Black Friday, but the deals are still going on. And if you have a prepper in your family or if you're prepping yourself, there are some ideas that I have for you of things that you might want to think about picking up. Um, the 10 essentials are navigation, sun protection, clothing and insulation, illumination, first aid, fire, tools, nutrition, hydration, and shelter. So within those categories for navigation you could pick up things like a compass, uh, walkie-talkies because you know your cell phones might be down I mean cell phone is certainly in that category um, maybe a battery operated radio or one of those hand crank radios um, a personal locator beepin or even a car charger for your cell phone so those are just a few ideas um, of course there's many many more uh, paper maps and GPS devices um, Sun protection is things like your sunscreen, your lip balm, your sunglasses, gloves, bandanas, um, wide-brimmed hat, or even goggles for snow and sand. Um, so those are all ideas, and these are not really expensive ideas. These would make really great stocking stuffers or, you know, gifts for a Christmas party for someone that you know that's into prepping. Illumination is just things like flashlights and emergency candles, you know, maybe a solar charger or a portable charger, those kind of items. For first aid, I have a lot of articles over on experimentalhomesteader.com that talks about first aid. Because you do want a children's first aid kit and an adult's first aid kit. Because as you know, children, especially infants, take different types of medication than what adults do and have different needs. So, but you want to include things like Advil, aspirin, children's Tylenol, maybe a little sewing kit, um, quick clot, splints, band-aids, wound dressings, iodine and rubbing alcohol. Um, anything like that that you can think of that somebody might need in an emergency should be part of your first aid kit. Um, it doesn't have to be huge because, of course, you want it to be portable enough to carry. But really try to think here. Um, and, of course, you can buy pre-made first aid kits if you don't really know what you want to put in one. As far as fire, lighter and lighter fluid seems the most obvious. But I suggest getting a fire starter or a fire steel that you can hang around your neck because then you always have it with you. Um, waterproof matches. You know, maybe a magnifying glass or tinder or just kind of think, what would you need if you were going to start a fire? Uh, do you know how to start a fire with just sticks? You know, that might be a skill building thing that you would want to help someone with. And while maybe a lot of people wouldn't think of that as a gift, someone who doesn't know how to start a fire and is into prepping might really appreciate that. When it comes to tools, things like uh, multi-tools, a good pocket knife, um, an axe, a knife sharpener, scissors, paracord, especially paracord bracelets, you know, uh, jumper cables, maybe um, a slingshot, firearms and ammo. Um, but make sure if you're going to buy those kind of gifts that the person that is receiving them either knows how to use them or give them the gift of sending them to a firearm safety course. That is a really great idea. Um, and they can learn about firearm safety before they actually get their first firearm. For nutrition, you know, MREs, dehydrated foods, something that I'm really excited about this year is um, the Harvest Strike Freeze Dryers for home use. Um, cast iron cookware, and I know that's not portable, but it's still something that someone might appreciate. A fishing rod and tackle, and 
if they don't know how to fish, you know, teach them that. Um, energy bars, nuts and jerky, rice, salt, hard candy. You know, just anything that they might be able to use in a grid down or emergency situation. For hydration, you can get those water packets, the emergency water packets. You could get water bags, uh, a water purifier, um, actually a water filter, water purification tablets, many different ways, but get people stocking up on water because that's really important. Um, and for shelter, things like a tent or a tarp with paracord, um, the space emergency thermal blankets, sleeping bags, or even a survival hammock. So those are all some really great ideas for someone you know, including yourself, that is prepping or that you want to encourage prepping. Uh, you want to start getting them into survival skills and you don't know how to do it. Maybe getting them started with an emergency kit is a great way to go. So I hope you guys will subscribe. Sorry, I am really... I'm losing my voice, and it is one of these days. Um, so I hope you will subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you all are having a fantastic holiday weekend, and we'll see you back tomorrow with another daily vlog. Thanks for watching.